Good morning and uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first Alpha show. I'm Karuna from Alpha ESS Marketing. And uh, today we are going to uh, talk about a topic on how Australia and Germany uh, differ in energy storage markets, especially under the circumstances of coronavirus. Uh, uh, on the very beginning, I wanted to uh, share with you why we uh, chose this topic. Uh, the first is, um, you know, as we all know that virus just come this year on a sudden way and uh, made a tremendous um, impact on our uh, ways of living and also the working. And uh, at meanwhile, uh, we finally found, found that um, our rivals in business is not just on the market, but also just out there, uh, 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 we have got a common enemies. Um, maybe a panic and also the virus. So uh, I think as, as people, we need to think about more on these uh, changes. So that's why, uh, firstly, we chose uh, the, um, uh, to talk about the situation under the shadow of COVID-19. And uh, secondly, uh, of course, uh, because uh, Alpha ESS is one of the uh, first, um, very first ESS player in the world, and uh, we have had, um, uh, we have set our footprints over 50 countries and uh, 60 subsidiaries in countries all over the world. So, and we, uh, in, and we have started our very first business in Germany, uh, especially in fact is in a very small basement and with our uh, first generation uh, machine. And uh, afterwards we rise up yeah, you will really rise up in Australia. Um, and now we are uh, reach top two in the market share. Uh, so we are confident that we really got the resources and the information to share with you the experience on uh, how we are dealing with the coronavirus and keep supporting our customers. And uh, uh, we also uh, can uh, have a talk with how, uh, what, what is the difference between the two countries, the Australia and uh, the German. And uh, in today's show, we are planning to dig out some root cause behind. So I hope you're enjoying the next 40 uh, minutes. And uh, as German is uh, among one of the first reopening country of, in the world, so what is really going on in ESS now? I will hear very glad to have Michael Steininger, uh, uh, please forgive me for my uh, poor German pronunciation here, uh, to have Michael here. Uh, Mr. Michael uh, is our marketing specialist and uh, data protection officer in uh, Alpha ESS Germany. And uh, he is graduated from University of Munich and majored in political science and history. He focuses on interdependencies and uh, poly, poly, uh, possibilities of different political levels in the EU. And uh, he's also among the very first people who is joining Alpha. He has worked for us for five years. So Michael, uh, welcome. Thank you very much, Karuna. And <laughs> also hello and good morning from Germany. I will also start showing the screen. And I'm very glad that I can tell you in the next five minutes a few numbers about the German storage market and also about the impact of the Corona crisis. So firstly, um, the numbers. Um, in 2019, um, the German storage market grew very fast, almost 50% to a total number of 65,000 new installations of residential storage systems, um, which is uh, quite fast growth, also a better growth than we expected actually, because mostly experts expected um, 60,000 systems. So we now reached uh, accumulated a sum of installed systems in Germany of around more than 200,000. 
in 2019, Alpha ESS reached a 3% market share in Germany, which does sound maybe in the, in the first moment not that impressive, especially when we compare it to some later numbers we will just hear in a few minutes. But for Germany and such a conservative market and big market of 65,000 installed systems, this is already a, a great success for us. And we th therefore reached also um, the top eight of the storage brands in Germany. So actually, we um, predicted also a kind of faster growth for 2020, but as the corona crisis now does have a, a strong impact on the uh, economy in general, but also um, has lots of uncertainties in, in, in the peoples or in the end customers, we don't uh, think that the growth will be too strong anymore for 2020. So we now just expect with uh, 17,000 new installations for Germany. Um, the market share uh, for Germany is a little bit difficult to predict as already the market size is very difficult to predict, but we plan or we actually thought that we can double our market share in this year. And when or according to our numbers in the first four months, um, this could be um, achievable for us, especially as we don't know how other um, companies um, deal with Corona or how big the impact of the Corona is because in Germany, um, we didn't have such a great impact as Alpha ESS because we planned already with, uh, with a very strong year 2020. And therefore, um, we prepared last year already um, a, a strong growth. And that's why still the impact is not that huge in Germany. But why is the Corona crisis um, in general has a great impact or um, also, you know, um, reduce the economy a lot. We now expect maybe a minus 7% of the um, GDP in Germany. And uh, all of this is caused by um, the huge number of um, COVID-19 infected people in Germany. So in total, we have around 170,000 infected people. Um, from these 170,000, uh, around 17, so 17,400 are currently infected and 140,000 already cured. As you can see in the, in the graph, also we had the peak in the beginning of uh, April and um, uh, uh, from there on it's declining very, very strong. Um, this was uh, uh, possible because um, the government had a partially shutdown of the country. Um, there were restrictions to go out, to meet other people, and also to have um, travels or business travels. Actually, there was not a, a real restriction, but um, the government requested to solve unnecessary travels. So how did Alpha ESS Europe deal with the corona then in Germany? So first, um, uh, in the middle of March, we stopped for two weeks all on-site appointments or service appointments. And after that, we slowly revived them, but um, it took us for maybe another two weeks until we got to the normal plan back. Um, in this time, we, we strengthened our technical service and remote maintenance. We focused a lot on video chats with partners and customers because it's always important to see the person you're talking to. But we also um, uh, uh, really invested a lot in the remote assistance for the second level support on site. So normally, you know, uh, the local partners do the first level support and we do the second level support. But as we are not able to travel there, we tried to, to help them with remote assistance. And last, we also had a sales and technical training now online as webinars and not or not live anymore and for for now we we live in a certain normality with coronavirus and for this um, we also raised new uh, working instructions especially for on-site appointments so we have the five basic rules open communication about corona if the customer has some symptoms of for of an illness just tell us and we will not come for this week but we promise we will come in the next week because nobody should have a disadvantage telling us this the second is keep distance whenever it, it's possible and especially when it's not possible wear a mouth nose mask because it does help and the fourth one is comply with a very strict hand hygiene we all know it's not always possible when you're outside when you're on site appointment um, but uh, try it and if it's not possible to use soap then get or then they are then have to use hand disinfection and the last one is it's i think the most difficult for us no face touch outside because when you uh, when you touch surfaces outside then you can infect yourself easily when you touch the face so with these rules with these um uh, strategies we now are back in a certain normality for sure under the shadow of covid 19. thank you very much okay thank you michael 
Um, and now we are, uh, there is a poll on your, on your screen. Yeah. Uh, please just uh, take 10 min seconds to finish this and your feedback will give us some uh, idea. Okay. All right. Yeah. By the way, here is now vote for Victor, but I think it should be vote for Michael, right? Yes. Okay, so the first one is oh, actually sorry. vote for Michael. So more, why, more why we will, <laughs> more we will also discuss in the round that. table then. <laughs> no problem. So this was my basic in introduction and more than but in the round okay. table. Oh, I see all, all, the, all the feedback is active, it's not, never negative. <laughs> Thank yeah. you all the audience, yeah. <laughs> all right, um, and now we are, we are here, we welcome our uh, genius BD manager in uh, Australia, Vic, Mr. Victor Chen. And uh, he is graduated from University of New South Wales and majored in solar and renewable energy engineering. Uh, he has uh, five years of experience in solar industry and uh, joined Offer ESS since 2018 and moved to Australia since last year. And uh, he, uh, he is very good at um, uh, explaining complicated things to the uh, to, uh, very simple words uh, to the customers. That's according to his own words. Okay, so let's see what, what, what Victor will really bring us. That sounds yeah. like I'm I'm fighting on myself, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I did, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Karuna. Uh, I did graduated from the University of New South Wales, and um, with all of, like nearly all of our um, teams in in Australia, we we graduated from the same school, and we are really an expert in the solar and renewable energy industry. Um, for my presentation today, I'm going to start with um, how great Australians uh, handled coronavirus. As you might be aware, Australia has almost overcome the coronavirus. Like from yesterday, there's no new people getting infected. And the second part, I'm going to talk about uh, what is Alpha's approach of dealing with coronaviruses. And thirdly, I'm going to talk about Alpha ESS Australia's market share. Um, and finally, um, because of the, of the virus, I'm going to announce a low stock alert. Um, firstly, how Australians are doing, dealing with coronaviruses. You can see from the, from, the, from the graph here, now we had a spike back in March, but then we gradually uh, going down. And now we are pretty much settled with the confirmed uh, affected people to less than 7,000. So we're on the road to recovery. Um, we are taking three, stage, uh, three steps for the recovery plan. The first stage is we'll have less than 10 people in a business and public area. And the second step is 20 people. And the third step is pretty much back to normal. You can have a party of 100 people if you, have, if you know that much, that much of people. And then after the stage three, everything will be back to normal. So, uh, so in total, Australia is doing very good in um, preventing the virus from spreading out. And Alpha's approach <laughs> of dealing with the coronavirus, right? Um, we, ha we have started with um, Zoom conference as well as um, uh, over the phone just trying to make sure that all the works are spot on and also the, 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 the efficiency of work is guaranteed. And on the right hand side, you can see me holding a Red Bull trying to do some work or pretend to do some work at home. <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, we, we are trying our best to work from home and make sure all of our customers are well served and um, they are taken care of. Thirdly, I'm going to talk about Australia, Alpha ESS Australia's market share. Uh, throughout a big, a big market like Australia, uh, we hold about 30% market share here. And in the central battlefield, which is South Australia, we hold about 26% of the market share based on the st statistics provided by the South Australian government last year, 2019. So by the end of the day, we're not going anywhere. We're not a small company that will just uh, take it a swing and a miss. Uh, we will service all of our customers and we have like it was mentioned previously, we have uh, two um, local offices, one in Sydney, one in Adelaide, and we're also setting one up in Melbourne with our uh, engineers there. So, um, yeah, finally, I'm going to talk about the stock level that we are currently experiencing some difficulties. So with the short on stock back in the days in March and April, um, we 
pretty much uh, are running on zero stock. And um, we have a lot of customers lining up for our product. So the first batch of shipment is going to uh, come into the country is all booked out. So the ETF for new stock arrival is listed in the, in the PPT here. Um, and if you do have any requests on the new stock arriving, just let me know. And the stock level will only be back to healthy, healthy level by the end of July. On the other hand, we still have two very proud partners that we're working with, uh, One Stop Warehouse and Solar Boss. So through One Stop Warehouse, you can still get Alpha products. The name of the product is called eStore. And through Solar Boss, you can still get our um, product called Hive, which is pretty much a small, a small B3. Thank you. That's that's end of my uh, presentation. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, thank you. There is another poll will uh, in front of your screen, and uh, it, it says it's for Michael, but it, exactly it's for uh, for Victor. Sorry, because uh, I made a, a little mistake last time. And uh, uh, another thing is that um, if uh, gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen, if you, now you have any question here, you can also just put in the Q&A here and our, uh, in the next round, the round table conference section, the, our speakers will uh, answer the questions just during the whole situation, uh, during the whole sections and uh, the, the rest of the time. All right, okay. And uh, Victor, we can now we can go in on the, the round table for Michael and Victor. Please. I can't wait. I have a, I have a very quick question <laughs> yeah, for Michael, I see that. actually. You're so <laughs> excited. Very... <laughs> yeah, you can see that. Okay. Yeah, right. it's, uh, it's, just, it's just that um, for, the, um, uh, for, for the virus situation ever spreading everywhere around the world, um, like in Australia, we have that uh, travel ban, interstate travel ban, uh, like our after sales team is not able to travel to Queensland to service their product, although we really want to go there. Um, I'm just wondering if what, what is the similar, um, how to say, uh, restrictions that you have in Germany in terms of social distancing and et cetera? Yeah. Um, as you just mentioned, we also have for sure rules for social distancing. They are getting lifted now, but um, compared to Australia, we never had a ban to travel. So we had a ban to travel for um, another country, for example, but uh, not inside of the country. So in Germany, we actually would have been always able to to travel, but as the government requested, we also um, tried to avoid uh, every travel and just postpone them for two weeks. And you know, um, in Germany, this this is also a little bit easier. Um, we have a, a kind of small country, and we have mm -hmm. local partners everywhere. So um, we we try to to stay like this, and for sure. Um, Actually, we also, um, you know, tried to, to adjust our, our service style, maybe. So, for example, when there was a small problem about the system, maybe there was a, a wrong setting for an accessory like um, the backup box, you know, or you could have repaired it, you know, on site. We just, we just sent it, um, you know, we just sent a new backup box so the, the local partner can install it and it's fixed and we just care about this back home because it's way easier, you know, especially in this time to avoid troubles like this. Ah, uh, right. But uh, we don't have a backup box here in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need backup, all right? <laughs> no, we don't. We don't need. We don't need a backup box. Um, it, it's probably something that we have different in product. But um, you know, as 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 more this and that, we just have to yeah. adjust the products according to the local restrictions and uh, yeah. regulations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we 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 we're experiencing a lot of um, how to say traffic in terms of after after sales. Yeah. Um, yeah. Reason being is we have installed a lot of systems and um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> and you have a very big country there, <laughs> actually That's a correct. continent. <laughs> so how did you do that then? When you were not able to travel to another state, how, how did you solve the problem? Um, currently we are still waiting for the border uh, limitation to be lifted. Um, mm -hmm. But at the moment there's like pretty much with, with, with states like New South Wales and South Australia and Victoria, we have our local mm -hmm. service engineering team. Mm -hmm. So they can go to the site and um, uh, you know, with you know travel in, within the states, and okay. um, yeah, for for other states, you just have to just have to wait until the limitations lifted. And ah. hang on, I, I see a uh, Q and A coming from Peter Wilson here. Yeah. Um, we're right. seeing increased demand for solar systems, including hybrid ones, due to customer getting bill shock from higher than normal energy consumption while under lockdown. Is it the same in other parts of the world. 
you want me to answer it, Michael? Or yes, definitely. I think so. How how I'm is not, it in Australia? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, where did this come from. Uh, the reason being is um, in in Australia we are comparing the solar system um, electricity pricing to the normal retail electricity retail pricing. There's always an advantage, mm. um, and by by saying this, I think you're referring to a PPA uh, model, like power purchase agreement, right? Um, sometimes, uh, if without the rebates, the, P the power purchase agreement can be uh, more expensive compared to the normal electricity rate. But by the end of the, by the, end of the day, having a battery uh, is not only about saving money, it will save you money, right? Yeah. Because your electricity tariff will go up and up and up mm -hmm. while your power purchase agreement will remain at the same level. Uh, throughout the whole contract period and by uh, the end of the period you still have your same warranty you still be able to enjoy the the solar and battery right um so yeah so um it's not happening here in australia um because the commercial viability is very important for our uh, products and also for uh, our customers uh, you know, in Germany, um, we can see at least part of that. So um, mm -hmm. Alphaeus has started always with the hybrid um, systems. And, uh, you know, honestly, this was more a, a niche uh, a part of the, the market, at least in Germany. And mm -hmm. um, for sure, the AC systems were, were much bigger, the market for the AC systems. But now we can also see that the hybrid systems really get boosted up. So um, we definitely can see this part um, when we talk about the... Um, the financial advantage, then yeah, we we see for sure that people realize more and more that um, they can save money by that. But especially now um, with the Corona crisis, many people also try to get more um, more energy um, safety or security. They, you know, the price is is actually the price was the main focus before, but now it's going a little bit down or also. So people mm -hmm. wanna be wanna be or wanna have. Um, energy whenever or whatever happens because we saw with the corona crisis it's a very fragile system we're living in um, mm -hmm. and i see that peter mr peter wilson said that he is in the philippines and uh, mr peter uh, i will pass pass your questions to the uh, folks to uh, sales and uh, the and if the if the answer is not is different so you I, you will have the exactly answers to that yeah thank you and Victor, there is another question for you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> What's your yeah, that's idea? Of, that's, no, that's, 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 one of, that's, that, that's from one of our customers. He's, um, yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's one of our customers. He's asking me about um, what's your idea. You are a governor. <laughs> yeah, Seems like South governor. <laughs> In South Australia, home battery scheme uh, is a, it's the biggest scheme and with rebates all around the world. So it provides the, the biggest rebase um, of $500 per kilowatt hours previously, and it now, is now reduced back to $300 per kilowatt hours. Um, do you think the government will increase the best subsidy later? I don't think so. The reason being is the government has its budget, and uh, I can't say on their behalf, but I, from my point of view, I don't see it will increase. That's all. <laughs> so if you want to sell a battery, sell it now, mate. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> No, but actually, you know, um, if they don't, um, uh, you, you know, if they don't give another subsidy, it's actually proving that the battery system is already sustainable by itself. That's correct. So um, you don't need it, actually. For sure, it's good for the customers, definitely. We also see this in Germany, but actually, um, the, the, the technology is already so well advanced that mm -hmm. um, you don't, it's not necessary anymore, like before. Mm. Exactly. And also, I see Vincent uh, is raising a question here, and he wants us to review some statistics, <laughs> says, which is very interesting. <laughs> We've got yeah. Vincent on the microphone here as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah as you, Vincent, I'm happy. Unmute Michael here as well, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, uh, not Michael, Vincent. So, yeah, um, with the special uh, secrets of Alpha, um, I will probably uh, introduce you to a uh, different sales strategy that, that we have in Australia and Germany. Uh, that'll be uh, probably helpful, uh, especially Vincent is um, one of our distributor from Belgium. So <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do a brief introduction on how Australian, um, our, our, our team are doing here in Australia. So during the coronavirus, everybody's locked down. 
So they intend to use more electricity during the day. Um, and uh, the re request from, for our system is getting much higher because they want to be self-independent and also they want to be, how to say, um, uh, not relying on the grid. So especially when there is a region where you um, constantly experiencing blackouts and et cetera, they want to be as independent as possible. And also on top of that, they want to save their money on electricity uh, usage. Uh, as you might be aware, Australia is a country with very high electricity tariff. Um, uh, it's, I think it's number two now all around the world. Um, with solar and batteries, we can do a very budget um, electricity pricing based on the power purchase agreement or upfront payment. So um, the secret of us selling the product, um, mainly we do, and this is probably the reason why we are holding a big market share here, is we talk to the installers. We go to the installer's house. We, 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 we will make sure the installer deliver the right information to the end customers. Um, the end customers know what exactly are they, are they um, how does they expect it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what, is, what exactly is the secret in, of selling in Germany, but this is the secret that we are doing. So we don't go fancy advertisement, etc. We go down to the ground. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we also always say, you know, um, our, our greatest marketing is the product itself. So mm. um, we are also just selling or, um, you know, we try to, to provide the best system with best mm -hmm. functions, with best quality for the lowest possible price so mm -hmm. that um, everybody will um, really um, participate on the, on the product or on the advantages of the product. So the manufacturer, the, 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 the local partner and also the end customer. And in Germany, uh, we, you know, you can see this, um, there are some very big brands also like in Australia, uh, which are not very successful in Germany. Um, mm -hmm. There are various <laughs> reasons, but uh, one one big reason is the sales strategy because you can't sell uh, um, a storage system directly to the end customer, because um, the storage systems are a very new technology. It's a very complicated technology, and um, end customers normally just don't understand it from the beginning. They need some explanation. They need some some individual individualization for their system for their application, and therefore it's so important that you have good local partners who can explain and sell the system to the end customer then. And that's what, for example, um, Alpha Europe or in Germany, we did for the past one to two years. We really focused to, to, to build up this, this great foundation for us with the local partners so that we can now also achieve um, great numbers like Australia. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how many, how many systems did you sell, sell last year? Because oh, last I hear year. You're, you're, out, you're out of stock, you have great numbers. Mm -hmm. You know? yeah. <laughs> big numbers, big numbers. Oh, I see, I see some fires here. <laughs> we, we, sold more, we, sold, we sold more than, uh, six, I think it's 6,000 6, systems last year. And um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, doing, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I heard so. How are you doing? How are you, doing? So. <laughs> you know, Victor, Victor seems so confident about that. Yeah, because yes. um, so, yeah, our, our mm -hmm. customers love it. And, and, and from... Mm -hmm from what, what matters to the, to the customer, to our installers is the system actually works, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it looks good, right? And at a very reasonable pricing. So we're yes. not over exaggerating our product to be fucking rocket science, sorry for my, for my <laughs> language, <laughs> but to be rocket science, you know, we, we, yeah. we intend to have our product, um, you know, very simple and also, yeah. um, you know, just a free, free of mind. Um, yeah. And I've got another question here from Peter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what he was saying is we don't have any special subsidy diagram in uh, program in uh, Philippines. Philippines. Nevertheless, we can reach ROI break even in eight to ten years. What is the ROI break even time frame in Australia and Germany? Um, I'll just speak on behalf of Australia. In in Australia, because the electricity tariff is very very expensive. So uh, with a solar and battery system, the normal ROI on the break. Um, break even time frame is roughly around three, uh, actually four to five years. Okay. So uh -huh. that, that uh -huh. is pretty much it. Yeah. Simply put. Yeah. Uh -huh. What about in Germany? 
simply put in Germany, or actually not that simple. Maybe first the simple answer, um, it's around the ROI, ROI break is maybe around five to seven years. It really mm -hmm. depends on the system, how big is the system, how much energy you use, etc. cetera. Um, mm -hmm. But um, the explanation for this is um, mm -hmm. in Germany, we have a subsidy program, but mm -hmm. um, the alpha storages are not expensive enough to mm -hmm. be subsidized by the, by the government. That's our mm -hmm. big problem, for example. That's also why um, Alpha ESS is often not in the charts because um, for the German subsidy program, you need to reach, reach a certain uh, price per kilowatt hours. And we you just don't reach price. that. Yes, we could, <laughs> but you know, that's not, that's not the sense, you know, because we, we you know, customers shall not only be able to buy a system because there's the subsidy, you know, the system itself is yeah. already good and cheap enough, they can afford that or they can buy it. So yeah. for us, you know, this is a success, but you know, um, then in the public, they don't see us. So we have hmm. to try to find a good way, but we definitely won't raise the prices. <laughs> <laughs> try, to, try to remind the price and uh, get some better rebates for the customer, you know, that's uh, yes. <laughs> help one of us that's all <laughs> definitely, definitely that's why yeah. you know i really like to hear also when 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 there is a localization in australia because mm. each market is is very dif different and you know when yeah. you don't have a localization then you can't be successful in in the markets maybe you're successful in your home market but not in all the others speaking of which uh i'm just curious um the the, 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 the opponent opponent that this that that doing very good in germany but not as good in australia you know who I'm talking about, right? Um, <laughs> you know, is that, is that, do you think that's probably the reason why their system is very expensive? Mm, I'm, no, I'm, it's very, I don't know personally, you know, I didn't ask them how they, how they got their price, but you know, for sure they have a very good products, definitely. Mm. So mm. Um, um, it, it is a, you know, it's also a very well-known brand brand mm. um, people know it it's actually it's the first it's almost the first company which was active in this market and it's no market mm. leader in germany so everybody can imagine who it is mm. um but um i don't know how they how they decide the prices honestly yeah but they they they, they they're doing very good in, in germany and all around the world um i would say it's a very respectful company and uh, they bring mm. Um, we, we, we're contributing in that too, just to mm. educate people on, mm. on how to, um, to be as renewable as possible. Um, yes. Not only with solar, but also with batteries. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, I, I also think, you know, it's great um, that the, the storage market has, a, has a huge potential in, in many countries. So there mm. is enough market space for, for mm. different solutions and for different ideas also. And for example, in Germany, we also were we're um, happy that they, mm -hmm. for example, two years ago, um, introduced a new um, logo, a new cigarette calling mm -hmm. cobalt free because yeah. um, they brought mm -hmm. cobalt free batteries on the market and they wanted to show um, the differences between the different um, uh, battery technologies or battery chemistries. And mm -hmm. um, I remember it very well because I called there and I said, oh, you know, can we also use it? Because they offered it to everybody who has cobalt-free batteries. And they asked, mm -hmm. do you have cobalt-free batteries? And I said, yeah, we only have cobalt-free <laughs> batteries since five years. <laughs> so this is perfect for us. So yeah. I said, we want to use that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Uh, that, I mean, there, there's another, another question pointing to Michael here. There's a low yes. stock alert in Australia. How's the situation in Germany? In Germany, the situation is a little bit different because, um, you know, we started, we started weaker than Australia uh, last year. And, mm -hmm. um, but we, like I said before, we built up a very, very great foundation for the next years. And mm -hmm. therefore, we already planned for a very strong growth in, in 2020. And that's why we built up a high stock in 2019. So, um, you know, even though, um, you know, because Australia is also big, so we need to, we need to, to have a good stock. So when the um, demand is very high, we can still meet it. That's why mm -hmm. um, uh, I can tell that the the situation is in Germany is not as bad as in Australia. You know, actually, it's, it's good. Not, you know, you're sold out. Bad. I know it's exactly. But in Germany, <laughs> you know, we still we still have stock, and um, mm -hmm. at the moment, the impact is not that big. Mm -hmm. But we we yeah. feel it. But um, it's not 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 that big.
Yeah, sorry, that's Jeff. Jeff, you happy with a with a with a question mark or answer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I I don't know the numbers which we have in stock right now, but I can tell you that um, we still have stock. Mm, all right, great. And uh, you know the the actually the impact on the production chain of Alpha ESS was not that big um, compared mm. to maybe others, and that's mm. why um, we were. I, I hope we we are able to to sit out these 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 um, bad days or bad yeah. weeks. That's right. And um, we've got another question here <laughs> How many from questions Penny now? from Penny uh, saying why call the product Smile. Um, a very simple explanation. I remember it every single day. Um, the breakdown of smile. S stands for self-sufficiency. M for, uh, it stands for um, modular design. I for intelligent control. L for long, long lifespan. And E for elegant design. So that's pretty much how we got the smile. And um, also we mm. have to put a smile on our face when we use the product, that's all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, now the question is, um, did we get the name because everybody in Alpha ESS is always smiling or no, uh, was, 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 was the words first and then the, the smile <laughs> appropriation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah, personally yeah. the first one. <laughs> we, should, we should think more carefully on our next generation device on, the, on how to name the product yes. and uh, mm -hmm. make sure it's rememberable. So, yeah. We'll yes, talk later about that. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's for another show. I think <laughs> it's a big topic. You know, it's always a great discussion how to name products. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. Another and, question. Uh, yeah, it's our fourth generation. I think on the yeah, this right. year. Yeah, it's on the way yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, very know, I think, I'm very excited. I think, I think about the <laughs> yes. fourth generation, we also need to think about something because normally we present our our new products on expos, but this mm -hmm. year I think we won't have an expo nowhere in mm. the world so that's why mm. um this will be also some very very interesting some very exciting um yeah. time how to yeah, sure. show our products we can talk about sure. this later after the meeting yes. anyway <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know i think the audience will be curious about that yeah. mm. Mm. so it still yeah. remains a secret <laughs> yes yeah sure and okay. we got two more questions from one from peter um, oh my it, it our curious person <laughs> curious yeah, person yeah. <laughs> no, every, everybody wants to wants to know something, you know, it is, yes. it, it's yeah. good. It's good. I want I want this type of questions like yeah. what is yeah. the situation around LFP cell uh, supply in China now from EVE? So uh, simple answer is, is it is now very stable. So mm -hmm. we are getting ourselves on a regular basis. So it's pretty, pretty steady. Yeah. Um, and then you have another question for me and Michael. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, V to G be offered within the Alpha ESS EV charger points. I'm not sure what do you mean by V to G. <laughs> the same question, actually. Yeah, I'm. Um, uh, I'm not an expert in EV charging. Uh, EV charger. Um, mm -hmm. So we in Australia we don't offer an EV charge point um, or uh, an EV charger. So I'm afraid I'm not able to. Vehicle to ah, grid. Ah, to grid. right. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Vehicle. Vehicle to grid. So it's it's yeah. more like the Tesla concept. Can I say the Tesla? Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, um, I'm I'm also not Speaking sure about about, <laughs> yes, about um, how uh, whether it will be offered in the future or not. But um, actually, the Alpha systems are very flexible. We yeah. almost uh, do everything by ourselves. That's why um, you know everything is possible. You can just say this. Mm, yeah, that's right. Um, and also, the thing is, from, from our point of view, uh, we are not a, a car manufacturer. So uh, the vehicle side is not something that we probably not, probably that's Even something that we can, we can plan for, for the future, but not yeah. something that we can do now. So Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, talking about, on... talking about electrical vehicles, you know, because um, Tesla, for example, is... Uh, very successful in selling cars in Germany, but not mm -hmm. very successful in selling um, storage systems. But I saw mm -hmm. in Australia, this is different. How, mm -hmm. how, how can you explain this? What, what, what are you doing different there? Um, in, in Australia? Yes. What do you mean by we're doing different in, in Australia? No, I mean, um, how, why, why, why it's possible that they're, they're successful, for example. Um, right. um, in, in Australia, I would say that people, probably the people are focusing on different things compared to what you have there. So German mm -hmm. people, 
So uh -huh. probably uh, from my point of view, I'm I'm not sure if this is discrimination or not, but German <laughs> people from our point of view is more conservative when we talk yes. about you know um, uh, getting a new technology and etc. They they try some uh -huh. brands, but Australian people is more uh, how to say from my point of view is more open minded. So we uh -huh. embrace the things that works and also uh -huh. it makes sense ec economically. Uh -huh. So. Um, uh, over here, we don't really like Alpha ESS as a company that has been established, you know, um, up until today is eight years. Mm -hmm. It's not very long. Yes. But we provide the product and um, yep. they, they understand the product works. Yep. And um, it's at a reasonable, pro reasonable pricing. So people will yep. be like, yeah, why not? And then when after they try the product, they'll be like, okay, I can recommend this product to uh -huh, the, uh -huh, my neighbors, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Probably that's the reason why. Um, we're getting a big success here. I Just see. On a yes. high level. Yeah. 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 Like, what about in Germany? Why are you guys? You know, that's very interesting to yeah. compare. Just because I think Australia and Germany, we should do more. Or who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should do more. Yeah, we should do more. <laughs> you know, no, we, we always, have... we always, we always admire uh, Germany. You know, um, uh, our German department um, since the start of Alpha Australia. Mm. Uh, we we've always been the biggest market uh, before 2009 and 19, <laughs> but it's just last year that we have a big jump and uh, yes. we should do the same thing in 2020. <laughs> yeah, we try to, we try to <laughs> actually. <laughs> and I think um, the, the, the next question also fits very, very well in this um, topic because um, Jeff asked, as I understand in Australia, you work with installers, are the mm -hmm. so-called local partners in Germany wholesalers or installers? Mm -hmm. So in Germany, we have both actually um, because we sell through wholesalers and they will um, then, um, you know, forward it to the installers. Um, mm -hmm. But for the customer contact, we just have the installers. And we see all of us as a big team because mm -hmm. everybody has um, different um, qualities, <clears throat> different um, um, advantages. And we try to, to um, put this together in a, in a great team and then sell to the customers. So we have both mm -hmm. in Germany. Mm. So does that answer your question, Jeff? hope so <laughs> <laughs> no worries you know yeah. you know the, the installers are the backbone for for the storage industry you know we can okay. say it just mm. you know straightforward because mm. without them in you know actually in germany also they are something like the limitation um for for the storage market because at the moment um uh, there are so many people who are demanding a storage system that the installers, you know, they, they only have two hands. They can't install all the all the systems they could, um, comparing to the demand of the of the customers. Mm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Same situation here in Australia. Uh, yeah. Like like I mentioned, we we work very closely with our installers. We value yeah. their feedback. Uh, yeah. Like we put even put their feedback into our future, you know, product um, design. So we yeah. want to make sure that um, we value the the, 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 the the market feedback, that's all. So um, yeah. that's why we're working through the wholesaler, through the installer and yeah. make sure they're making money for doing yeah. this. They're getting paid for doing this. So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Mm. So all I right. think we, we will just do the, the last two questions we just got. And mm -hmm. um, then- so we have to wrap it up today? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Not just two, yeah, three. Okay, no, I think, I, yeah. you know, just we, we can make it um, very short, maybe. Um, I think the comparison yeah. of, of Alpha and Tesla is a very long story, I think. Mm -hmm. um, that's why um, we will keep this maybe for another, for another show. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, then, which, which one? I can, I, I, no, I can, I, I'll, I'll do the first one. How do you compare okay. Alpha and Tesla? Okay. Um, Tesla is a very good company, uh, I would say. Uh, they build very good cars. Uh, they sell it, they sell a lot of cars around the world, which mm -hmm. is really beautiful, and uh, they have very good product. Um, with the uh, with the Tesla products, because they're coming from a car manufacturer, so their focus is more for having a car inside the house. But for, from our point of view, we're starting from having the battery storage in the house, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a different. We come from different angle, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And with Tesla, they only have one product, but we have product on diff each individual scales mm, and make mm. sure that we meet the requirements for every single household. Yeah. But by the end of the day, I would say Tesla is making a very great, great improvement in the renewable industry 
and yes. uh, we appreciate that. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Ryan. Definitely. They raised a lot of awareness and that we are also thankful for this. Yeah, that's right. I think we, we, we got yeah, we got an, an anonymous um, question. Yeah. I think there's an interesting demand for residential ESS in Asian Asian. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this is a great question for our colleague for another mm -hmm. show, um, who is the sales manager for this for this area, and mm -hmm. I think we will just postpone this um, question to um, to have an, another show. Mm -hmm. Or what do you think? Because I I can't answer this right now. No, I would say uh, if you can leave your email address there, uh, we we can have Josh yes. to reply yeah, back uh, to you. Yeah, we exactly. can, I think yeah, I think we can answer you later and to mm -hmm. the exact sales who is in charge of this area. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you will get the and accurate answers later. Last one. Uh, do you reach yes. out directly to customers uh, to consumers with marketing efforts? Why or why not? Both Australia and Germany. Um, in Australia, we don't uh, we, we we market our product to the the end customers, but we don't sell it directly to the customers. Uh, we want to uh, educate. Um, Every people, every everybody around the world. We want to make sure that everybody's on the same page with us, and um, uh, we what, what we don't want to do is to cut other people's lunch. We want to make sure that everybody is benefiting from renewable energy, and especially the end customers, they're benefiting yeah. from it. So that's the that simple answer yeah. for Australia. What about Germany? So for Germany, the very very short answer is yes. In the future, we will do that. Um, in mm. the past, we did not. We focused on our local partners, on the local mm -hmm. installers. Uh, but now we will start with, um, you know, focusing on the B two C marketing efforts. Mm. Mm. And um, maybe um, when you're from Europe, then you will see some of them in the future. Mm. Awesome. Um. <laughs> So for sure, uh, many people still have questions, um, but you know, it's just the first the first show. There will be many more. And if you have any other question, I think Karuna can handle it, right? Yeah. Karuna. Karuna? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the, there is still some questions here, but uh, I think uh, time is running out. And the support just in front of your screen, um, your feedback is very important to us. And uh, I, I know that if you still have any questions for to the product and our support services, um, you can just contact us. You know where to find us by the email uh, or just to give, give us a call. We will always be there for you. And uh, mm. we, uh, we are going to have some uh, typical projects that are made by Offer ESS all over the world, both in uh, residential and uh, the commercial. And our customers, uh, our customers and also our experts like Victor and Michael uh, will always share some pro profound data with you so that uh, you could get a better understanding on the project of, and also with Offer ESS. And uh, in the future, we also hope that uh, from this offer show, uh, today is just a warm up, okay? And uh, in the future, we, we hope that our offer show will help you to get in touch with more and more end customers. I am sure that you will, you will be a draw with it. And so please stay tuned. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. See you. See ya. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you guys for coming. See you. Yes, thank Bye. you very much for the audience too. And thank you for the great questions.